picture a vibrant city. And in the middle of the city, we have a flock of geese living in a crazy abandoned barnyard. It's tore down. It's terrible, y'all. It's truly a terrible place. The walls are high and the gates are locked. They're stuck in here. So inside, these geese have everything they need. Truly. Safety, food, and each other. Now, enter PG. We call him PG because he's the philosopher geese, right? He's a, or I should say goose, okay? So he's the wisest of them all. He walks differently. He talks differently. And he sees beyond the high walls of their barnyard. He gathers the flock every evening, his voice smooth and steady. I said, listen up, young geese. Do you really think these walls are all there is to life? Do you really think these walls are all there is to life? I ancestors soared across the continents. They were explorers, adventurers. But look at us uh, just puddling around, eating corn and too scared to spread our wings. It's like we're living in a chicken coop and we're not even in chickens. Man, that, that sound dope. But it's just safer here, you know. Why risk it? Plus, I heard outside there's like no no Wi-Fi. How am I supposed to keep up with my followers? You want me to fly with no Google? No Google Maps? Nah, nah, son. That's a hard pass, OG. I said, kid, the sky is the original broadband. You think our ancestors needed Google to find their way? They navigated by the stars. You're playing small because you're afraid of the unknown. You're here wearing about Goose Grimm likes any old, any, any old thing when you could be flying high, seeing the world you see. His curiosity peaked. What if I, what if I fall? Listen up, young goose. What if you fly? What's truly holding us back isn't the fear of falling. It's staying comfortable in these bonds, thinking it's all there. You ever heard about Zimbabwe? Now that place where folks didn't accept what was handed to them, they changed their whole stars, kicked out the oppressors, and now they walking around with smiles brighter than the diamonds in the goat. Young Goose laughing. You think I could do that? You know, just fly off? Absolutely. Every one of us can. But while these geese nod, inspired by his words, they stay put. They analyze every word he says, discuss it in groups, write it down, plan, but never act. They're too comfortable, too scared of the world outside their walls. Just like the geese, many of us are stuck in a barnyard of our own making. We doubt our abilities and fear stepping out of our comfort zones. We tell ourselves we need more time to prepare, more assurance than we're ready, more signs that we're worthy. One day, after another riveting tale by PG, Young Goose looks up, really looks up for the first time and sees a gap at the top of the barnyard. It's not huge, but just maybe. What's really out there? PG laughs, a hearty rumble chuckle. <laughs> Boy, it's a world where you don't just exist, you live. You want to know what's out there? You want to know? What do you? Freedom. The kind that fills your lungs like a cool breeze on a hot day. But hey, don't take my word for it. Go see yourself. God said, go see for yourself. I said, young goose, go see for yourself. Young goose, go see for you. I said, Silver. Fueled by nothing but raw curiosity and a sprinkle of reckless carriage, young goose takes a run up. He's clumsy and, frankly, a bit of a spectacle as he flaps those underused wings. That's what I'm talking about. Spread those wings, young goose. Remember the first step ain't out the barn. It's in your mind. It's up in your mind. It's in your mind. 
The young goose runs, flaps harder, and starts to lift off. The other geese gather around, watching in awe as he catches the wind under his wings and soars above the barnyard. I said, tell the world our story. Tell them about the geese who dare to fly. And just like young goose, it's time for us to stop playing ourselves. It's time to spread our wings. Don't wait for someone to tell you you're ready. Don't wait for the perfect moment. It doesn't exist. Make your moment. Start with one small step. That's the leap of faith. It's terrifying, but it's also where you start to really live. He crashes, lands face first into a pile of hay outside the barnyard. But as he shakes out the hay, how's it feel, young goose? Young goose calls back laughing. Flew right into a new thing. Hey, PG, sell all my corn. I ain't coming back. Bring your old feathers out here, too. And just like that, Young Goose didn't just leave the barnyard. He left his old self behind, too. The price of yielding to imposter phenomenon is high. Missed opportunities, unfulfilled potential, and a constant fear of being found out as a fraud. Studies show that at least 70% of people experience these feelings at some point, which means most of us are fighting these invisible battles. Just like the geese, we could fly anytime we decide to. The gates are not locked, but our minds are. We are safe in our routines and predictability, feeding on the corn that comes every day at the same time. But what are we missing out on? What skies could we explore if only we dare to fly? So what's your barnyard? Share it in the comments and let's help each other break free. Remember, just don't play it safe, play it brave. And never play yourself by settling for less than what you could be. Fly high. Get it, PG. We buy high. No lie. And you know this. I said, Bali, we fly high. No lie, cause you know that I said BG, that's me, I fly high, look at me, I said PG, that's me, I fly high, look at me.